What's going on everyone? I'm Daniel Rodriguez. It's time to do a trailer reaction to King Arthur Legend of the Sword official Comic-Con trailer uh, which stars Charlie Hunnam and Jude Law or Jude Law. However, it's always been a controversy on how you say his name, but it's 2 minutes and 36 seconds long. This is of course released from the San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, it releases in 2017, man. Super excited. Uh, you know, I, I, it's interesting to see where, you know, Charlie Hunnam would go after Sons of Anarchy, which he was really great in Sons of Anarchy. Well, uh, towards the end, he kind of lost his, you could tell he was losing his, you know, Jack's voice and, you know, kind of going back to his uh, voice and his accent, you know. Uh, but still, you know, every week on Sons of Anarchy, family, family, oh, I'm giving you that Jax Teller look, you know. But uh, still, I'm very interested to see what King Arthur has in store for us, what they're going to do, the action, the writing, the characters, all of that, and will it be a big experience, or will it just be another, you know, is it an overhyped film, or it, will it actually, you know, deserve the hype, will it actually, you know, will it be too overhyped, and then when I see it, ah, uh, or will it be amazing, you know, that's the thing. Very skeptical on this film, so here's my first time actually seeing footage, let's check it out. I do not have software to put, like, the footage of the trailer in the video. I am sorry, but I you can hear the audio. But uh, in the description down below, I will have the link to the trailer. So I'm sorry about that, I know. But here we go. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. Tell me story. Tell me every detail. A lot of breathing. <laughs> Warner Bros. Pictures. I woke up. From where? From a nightmare. What was it about? Ben. Ben? Me and the lads took care of their business. Hold up, hold up, back up. You've left something out. Are you writing a book? They all lived happily ever after. No, they didn't know that. Why does this feel like a comedy? There's something you don't know. Eric Banner? Something nobody told you. Guy Ritchie, yep, from he directed Sherlock Holmes. I think. This is your prophecy. Yeah. Man from Uncle. Fame, time, weary. I know what kind of a man you are. What is that? My lord. I know your story. Behold! The man who pulled sword from stone! I'm not getting drawn into this mess. There's an army of you. There's only one of me. I'll talk. I'm happy to talk. But there is no way that I am fighting. Oh yeah, you're gonna fight. <laughs> In 2017. A lot of big battle wars, man. Very big environment. Raised on the streets. Born to be king. Damn, a lot of stuff's happening. Big monsters or elephants. So what happens now? We well, you know what happens now. You're quickly becoming a legend. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. 2017. That really reminds me so much uh, uh, of the feeling of the way how it, it, Kurt Sutter's The Bastard Executioner, how it's so medieval and... Uh, you know, I used to be so much into medieval shit, man, but now I just kind of grew out of it. I'm tired of this medieval, uh, oh, yeary, yeary, and, you know, you know, and the same actors come out all the damn time in these sort of medieval films. Like, uh, the, you know, the the guy from Game of Thrones, uh, the T Tyrion's father, the Lannister, the, the Lannister's father, um, I totally forgot his name, but he was King Tywin. Is it Tywin? Something like that. He always comes out in these medieval films, or always like those actors that come out in Game of Thrones. They always come out in some medieval thing. Like, why do you come out all the time in medieval, medieval, medieval? Do something else. And, and there's, I felt like I saw Littlefinger in there. Like, it's always the same shit where they do the same era all the time. 
branch out and actually do acting. Like, go somewhere else. But still, uh, it looks good. I mean, it doesn't look great. You know, that's just the first trailer, but it's not like I'm like, oh my god, I need to see it now. Uh, it even looks more like it'd be a rental, but still, we'll see how it is. I mean, uh, a cool action in there. Don't get me wrong. There lo does look like cool action and everything, but... You know, I could totally, be, I could totally be wrong because I remember when the first Mad Max Fury Road trailer came out, I wasn't a big fan of it. But the thing is, is I was wrong because you know I became a fan of it a few months later, and then I watched all the original Mad Max stuff. But the thing is, is I may not like it, but then when it comes out, I'll be like, oh, this shit was actually good, you know. So it's just the way I did. I didn't like the way it was presented. Yeah, sure, good action, but then it had a comedic element to it. Like it felt like the Man from Uncle, without being the Man from Uncle. Like Guy Ritchie has that same sort of like comedy camera work the the feel of it so it it doesn't you know it's okay or it's good you know so comment down below to me what you guys thought about king arthur legend of the sword thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and uh if you did leave a like if you want to see more content trailer reactions movie reviews uh tv show reviews live stream on video games hit that subscribe button for more till next time uh, bye bye